Ag Week TV, presented by Kaler Farms. Many soybean growers are reporting crop damage and yield loss from dicamba herbicide drift. But as Mikkel Pates found, some growers are finding timely rains may have mitigated some of the crop loss. Russell or Wally Hushka farms in Barnes and Steel counties in North Dakota. He figures up to 60 of his acres were hit with off-target dicamba. He started to see soybean leaves cupping in early July along the edges of his fields. And you didn't have to walk very far where the cupping wasn't near as severe. It, it got better as he went away from the road. Now that he's harvesting, he thinks he didn't suffer any crop loss. In fact, one of the affected areas came in a bushel or two per acre more than the unaffected part of the field. Hushka says timely rains in August helped perk things up. After we had the rain, they started the flower and they started to put pods on. So I wasn't too concerned after that. Hushka says the damage looked terrible on some spots in mid-July, and he reported it to the neighbor who had sprayed the dicamba. Hushka settled with the neighbor's insurance company, and he says he hopes the technology won't be abandoned. For the weed situation, we need something, but I also understand we've got to learn how to control the volatility of all this stuff. To reduce the risk of drift. Rich Zollinger, a weed specialist with NDSU Extension, says soybeans can recover quickly from stress but he says damage varies across the country. Dicamba drift has caused injury on soybean across the whole United States. There's a lot of things we don't know, and one of the most important things we don't know is the effect on yield. The EPA has added about a dozen points of restrictions for 2018 to the dicamba label to reduce and monitor drift. Zollinger says state regulators may add other restrictions. The different state Department of Ag will probably introduce extra regulation on top of the national, uh, the things that the EPA has come out with. Based on input from academia, from growers, all of this hopefully will make an impact and, and reduce the amount of, dr of drift. Near Pillsbury, North Dakota, this is Michael Pates for Ag Week. The University of Missouri is leading a survey for this year's crop to help form a plan for future years. The survey asks about environmental influences like humidity and airspeed.